Hello, my YouTube geeks. This is Diana Hart from Heart of Phoenix Productions, and we are going to continue a little bit of our hunter today. So I've gotten our hunter to the point that she can get her next subclass. So we're going to do that today. Nothing else, just this, just getting the next subclass. Let it load up. And I currently have three dogs I'm taking care of, so I need to get them to chill a little. <laughs> and I did get the guardian, the hunter, up to a level 11, as needed for Io. But I'm probably going to level her up a little bit more before we continue on to Io, so that way things are uh, easier, quote-unquote. Uh, at least we have a little more power, so that way we can take out the bosses a little better. It likes taking a while to load! You get to talk to Nate a lot, our ghost. You need to chill too. Okay, he's chilled. Now you need to chill. <laughs> so I realized something. Once I get this hunter, the one I've been using for YouTube and all that sort of stuff, up past the story level and everything, and the story mode and Curse of Osiris and everything. I'm going to have two hunters that I can play as, and honestly, what happened that caused me to uh, delete my warlock was because I was playing as her so much that I became bored with it, because I didn't have my titan past that point, which now I do. So. What's probably going to happen is once my hunters pass the story and all that sort of stuff that I'm going to record for YouTube, I'll still record some stuff for YouTube of like me doing strikes with other people and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but what's probably going to happen is I'm going to keep this hunter and then delete this one and play the game through one more time as a warlock. So I have all three sub bits, all three classes, making it so <clears throat> whenever I do a strike or something and I plan something with someone, I have the class that would be preferred for the team. So if we have a if they have a hunter and a titan, I'll have a warlock, or if they have a, a, a hunter and a warlock, I could do the titan and all that sort of stuff, just to even the stuff out. But let's continue. So, we are getting my favorite subclass. Out of all the subclasses, my favorite ones are... Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> my favorite ones are... The, uh, are the solar, mainly because of, I've always been a, ever since I was a kid, I always enjoyed the mythology of the phoenix, and I always had a strange fondness and passion for fire, so that one tends to be my favored element not that there's anything bad with the uh, void or the archetype I just prefer the solar so let's get to it I'm quickly fixing something because the dogs messed something up but all right I still have plenty of time goody good again it just likes to load a lot Nate will let us know when we get there. Yep. 
All right. This forest again. Well, I can't say our last visit wasn't memorable. Let's see what we can find. All right, let's go, Nate. Now, I am going to tell you guys something. I have actually bought a ghost. It's really cool because if you go to Etsy and just search Destiny Ghost, you can find a lot of different types of ghosts, including 3D, most of them being 3D printed, for a pretty reasonable price. And a lot of the places that you can get them from will customize them for you. So if I'm able to get a hold of the right ghost shell in the game, I will let you see basically how I ordered Nate for, <clears throat> for the one that I got physically. I have been writing a fan fiction that, oh, look, there we go. But I have been writing a fan fiction that uh, deals with the ghost and guardian. So it's going to be basically playing off of this guardian that I've been playing Whoa. as. Um, knock, knock. <laughs> and this ghost, Nate. And I describe him as... Gotta love the ambiance. Hey, do you see that? Over there, the light. Okay. Sorry, Ghost keeps interrupting because I keep moving. But uh, I described Nate as being a blue and gold ghost. So the best shader that fits this is... Let me find it. I believe this one. The Dawning Brilliance. Most of the time it looks... Uh, it keeps the blue and the gold-ish color. And so if you know the, uh... okay, sorry, I'll let this talk. All I can think is, if Rasputin had all those mighty tools and it lost, what did it learn? Okay, that's it. So story time and this sort of fun stuff. But um, if you know the frontier uh, ghost shell that has like the little brackets on its wings and then the red and white stripe, so it's majorly blue where the red is, and where the white is, that's where the gold is. So, yeah, pretty simple, but that's how I imagine him. And let's continue. What's it going to try this time around? When I hear about the Dust Palace and those Scion Flayers getting into Rasputin's mind, I wonder, what would they talk about, Rasputin and those creatures? Because I was a servant, too. I was an instrument of war, bound to the will of a lesser master, but I learned to be something more. A lot of these have some interesting symbolism behind it, in a way. She leaves the rifle and walks across the naked obsidian into the swarm, firing from the hip as she goes, each kick of the old revolver a word. The stone smokes around her where the arc fire lashes it, and the shrapnel guns throw up leaves of obsidian like glass butterflies. She shoots her bandoliers dry and a team of vandals in glassy stealth leap up to rush her with knives, but she raises her hand and burns them down with the golden gun, laughing. Yep, so we're getting this... Heads up, follow. already. Gotcha. 
Now to take care of these guys over here. over here what do you have to teach me Cade? I think these light projections might be lessons think of how mysterious the system is I said how much life sprang up when the traveler came like the Ahamkara do you know the legends the dragon that made promises and I pulled out the fossil with a flourish she pulled out her knife and started to pick the dirt from her nails that set me off you could never have brought down one of these I said ever not the greatest hunter, not the brawniest titan. Her eyes narrowed, she said, oh, is that so? And I saw right then that she wasn't going to pass on the challenge. Sounds like a pretty tough hunter, right? My old friend Andal, he's just standing right here, right in the spot. He come up with these wild stories. He'd say, you know, Cade, I've been examining the evidence. Personally, I've come to think it's you. You're Rasputin, legendary war mind, defender of Earth. And I wish you'd remember that so you could reclaim your full power and save us all. You can see how that'd be embarrassing. <laughs> so I say what I want to say every day. It's no secret. I say, well, I'll go find it then. I'll go tell Rasputin we need its help. And Akura looks at me with one of those looks that you know. Sometimes you talk to Akura and you just think, wow, I'm not even using a fraction of your brain on me. Right? One of those <laughs> she says, Kate, the problem isn't just that we can't find Rasputin. The problem is it's not clear to any of us that Rasputin wants to be found. That's true. Hopefully there's an expansion or something that helps us know more about Rasputin. Another shot of the Traveler. But we're not alone. Hey, more fallen. are going to give me a stronger light. Gotcha. Okay. Where are you, little shank? Great. You know what? This shard called us here. I'm sure of it. Let's grab some ammo first. Right, let's get it. <clears throat> It's gonna be a pretty short video, but hey, that's okay. The shorter it is, the easier it is to upload. Now there's later in the subclass as you continue to upgrade it and everything, one that allows you to have six shots instead of three it's not as powerful as three big ones but i like the six it to me it tends to give a little more damage in a way it allows me to hit them a little more and disorient them a little more 
But that comes with getting more upgrade points and just continuing to hit them up and all that fun jazz. So just wait for it to load so that way I can continue and use this awesome new subclass. And this is probably the subclass I'm going to use against Skull and basically for the rest of the... The shark gave us a gift. Let's use it. Oh, yeah. Hit the light as we go by and fire. That was bad. I didn't even see where the circuiter was. this chink because it's causing me a lot of troubles. Okay, where are you? The only downside to this particular subclass is you have to, uh... You have to keep pretty good aim. Okay, again... That's just a clock in the background going off, so ignore that. There's still so many of them. I, I need to take it out. guy, huh? Class. Woo! And that's a phone going off. <sighs> okay. Either someone else will get it, or it's a telemarketer and it's not important anyway. Calm down, puppies. 
I'm sure the Traveler called us to the forest deliberately. Yep. It's amazing that even a corrupted shard can still do so much good. He said it, Nate. All right, let's go. Shh. It's okay. All right, awesome. Let's look at this new subclass as soon as we're in my slits. Uh, my other one was better. 115, 111, 114, 108. Wow. Pretty low grade stuff I got, huh? <laughs> Yeah. Eventually I'll get some pretty nice stuff. Okay. Let's look at this. All right. Get all of these cuz these are basically free. I like my triple jump. And I like this swarm grenade. And this is the one that gives us the six shooter instead of the three shooter, even though this one is pretty nice. I do like this one. The I think it's the way of the outlaw. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, that is <sighs> okay. So that's it for today. We will continue on with the story later, possibly tomorrow, possibly next week. I don't know when. It depends. It varies frequently, just depending on what I have available and what is needed. So uh, I keep forgetting to announce this, but North of Havana, the comic that my sister and I are doing together, has officially been started and several chapters released uh not any of the main story chapters we are currently working on chapter one right now but the uh main story will be coming out soon and we have two introduction chapters of the two main characters lola and tony and then we also have a holiday special feel free to check it out at webtoons.com just search north of havana or diana hart and kenobi and it should come up feel free to take a read and if you enjoy it subscribe and wait for more because the actual story will be coming out soon thank you so much for watching and i hope you all have a great day um, with school back in session, I don't know how often we will be able to update, and even me on the YouTube channel, I don't know how often I'll be able to update. It depends. But I will keep y'all posted and let you know. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.